All right, so I'm going to be upgrading the hard drive on this Dell Inspiron 3670. So first thing you want to do is remove the two screws from here using a PH2 or JIS2 screwdriver. All right, let's go ahead. Oops, sorry. Let's go ahead and remove these two screws. All right. The customer said that their computer only came with 128 gigs and it's running low. It keeps filling up, so we're working on this to get rid of it, all right? So once you've taken out those two screws, you can grab this part and you can pull this back. And then you can go ahead and lift the cover off just like that. <clears throat> all right, so the SSD is right here. <clears throat> As you can see, they use this really tiny one here. Let me zoom in. Um, <clears throat> they also have two sticks of RAM here, which it's hard to show this, but there you go. If you wanted to remove the RAM, you just pull these tabs to the side here. I'm going to just pull out one stick to show you guys. All right, then you can go ahead and pull this up. And here you can see it's a 4 gig PC4 2666V. So make sure it's desktop RAM, PC4 2666V. And you can use whatever you want. You can use two 16 gig sticks if you want. Um, keep in mind if you upgrade your RAM that it will take more space on your hard drive. So make sure that your hard drive has enough room if you are going to be doing that all right so we got that let's go ahead now and take this out hopefully we can move this um that ssd mount let's see here so hopefully you can see that we're going to switch over to a ph1 or js1 screwdriver and again hopefully we're going to be able to migrate that over because if we can't that's going to suck so we got that screw out, it pops up slightly, then you can go ahead and wiggle and pull it out. And here you can see it's a M.2 NVMe SSD, and it's just this tiny one. We're gonna try replacing it with a full sized, and it looks like we can. So we're gonna switch back to the PH2 or JAS2 screwdriver, and we're gonna take this, this um, post here that the screw went in before, okay? And yes, we can unscrew that. Sorry, I know my hand's in the way, but we can unscrew that. Okay, and we're just going to move it over to this one here, the longer one, the 2280. So, okay. <clears throat> so I didn't know, <clears throat> excuse me, what the sizes were. So there's the two, uh, 2280, and then there's the 2230, and I believe there's other ones in between, but those are the sizes. So we're gonna be replacing it with a full-sized one, this Crucial P2, this is a 500 gig SSD, but I am going to have to clone it first. If you wanna see how to clone SSDs, you can watch my other video. Um, <clears throat> but basically, once you've cloned it, we're just gonna get the SSD over here, okay? I didn't clone it yet, but I'm gonna just show you guys how to do this. So you get the SSD in there, you put it at an angle, and then you just pinch the two or squeeze the two together like this. I'm using both fingers, okay? And then you just get the screw and put that in. Make sure that it's lined up straight in the middle, just like that, and you just put the um, screw back in. Again, I didn't do that yet, so I'm gonna be doing that. So we're gonna leave this out for now. Okay, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Again, I have um, how to clone the hard drive in another video. <clears throat> it's in my playlist, General Computer Repairs. All right, you have, it looks like this uses a special power supply. So this isn't a standard power supply. Um, if you need, there's the part model numbers here, I think. So you'll wanna check yours, but there's the model number here, AC290AM. Dash zero zero. There's a bunch of different model numbers, PCB045. Um, so depending what you find, there's also some other model information here. So keep that in mind. You got a standard um, 3.5 inch SATA hard drive right here. So if for some reason you wanted to um, get a larger or replace this with a SATA hard drive or SATA SSD instead, you can do that. <coughs> Um, it also has the connector for this CD drive up here. All right, I'm not gonna be taking out all this stuff. I'm just kind of showing you guys what's in there. You got the BIOS, CMOS, or RTC battery here. If you wanna remove that, there's this little spring-loaded bit here. You have to push it to the side and then you can pop out the battery. And again, 
Um, this doesn't use a standard power supply, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, this is not a standard power supply. So this goes into the motherboard for motherboard power. You got the four pin CPU connector here, it looks like, and they use an extension to plug all the way down here. But um, yeah, it's a special power supply. Regular power supplies don't have this kind of cable here, so keep that in mind. You can't really upgrade the power supply um, unless Dell makes one. They do have a slot here, so you can add a video card, but again, um, there's no um, power for it. So if you do get another uh, video card, you wouldn't be able to get one that needs external power. All right, so anyways, there's some jumpers here. I believe those are probably to reset the BIOS and things like that. They didn't really, oh, they do say what it is and it's, they give you the information on what it does in this little box down there. They tell you what each one does. So yeah, they have like service mode, power clear and CMOS clear or password clear, not p power clear. So PW is the password. So if somebody put a BIOS uh, password, you can reset it using these little, that blue jumper thing there. All right. So that's pretty much all I'm going to show in here. I'm going to clone the SSD now and that's pretty much it. So yeah, pretty straightforward, um, very standard desktop wise inside. Um, again, they don't use a regular power supply, but other than that, all the other stuff looks normal. Um, the cover is very easy to put back. You just put it back slightly further back this way and then you just slide it back over, put the two screws in and you're good to go. All right, so anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, again, there doesn't seem to be anything special here. This uh, heat sink does seem a little bit difficult to get to because of this shroud. Um, it looks like the shroud, you can actually pop off the clips. There's like clips here. Um, so if you needed to pop that out, you can. I don't know why you would, but it is removable. So... <clears throat> Yeah, anyways, I'm going to clone the SSD and then I'll put it back together. If you want more powerful graphics, again, you can put one. It just won't be uh, powered. You can't have one that needs external power. But, um, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. But that's pretty much it so yeah again for the customer they had a 128 gig ssd it kept filling up so we're upgrading to a larger and yeah that's it hopefully it helps see you all in the next one bye let's drop this